Welcome to Filing Docs. So we are here producing step-by-step -step video that can help you file different kind of form. And today we're going to talk about uh, how to apply for early learning programs. So specifically in Florida, we got this website www.floridaearlylearning.com coalition. So this is basically where this is this space is for parents that, that are looking for help for the child mainly between between uh, you know from from birth to 12 years old uh, i know so many parents that that need to enroll their let's let's say you're one years old two years old four years old you need a daycare or vpk uh, you need to enroll your kid in order to go to work or to go to school so specifically in florida we got the early learning uh, coalition so you can turn to this website if you are looking for to get help paying for daycare or the VPK so again the website is www.floridaearlylearning.com coalition so I'm right on the website so this is for parent okay you can click parent early learning program let's click on it to see what's going on so here we are they say we can apply for vpk or school within it so let's talk about the, the vpk first of all let's say for the vpk v, vpk your child uh, need to be four years old okay so which mean we are right now in 2017 though the school you're gonna be i'm right now in july 2017 so normally to be eligible for vpk your child need to be for years old now or if your child will be for years old before september of this year before september your child is eligible otherwise your child is not eligible for the vpk so there is a rest rest restrictions restrictions regarding the age of your child so that's one concern but above all you know the the vpk it's, they're gonna check your your income too okay but there is the age so let click on apply for VPK or school readiness so but the school readiness is different okay so here in Florida that we got different county let me check one county example this county Manatee County I'm on this county okay but you might be eligible to apply for the school readiness because for the school readiness there is no age restrictions it's from birth to 12 years old but the VPK you really need to be so let's say if i click for the uh parent let's click for the school readiness okay because school readiness there is no age uh, restrictions okay but like we can see here income so they say it's school readiness is from from birth through 12 years old okay so but there is the income example in a family of two person, two person, the maximum annual income should be twenty four thousand zero thirty. That's the way it works. You can, uh, if a family of two person have more than twenty four thousand thirty dollars, you are not eligible for to apply for this program. Okay, that's the way it works. So by the way, you can apply everything online through the family portal. Okay, you can apply there. You will just need to scan your document. And then upload them. You can apply online or you can just fill out the paper. So you got two choices. But remember the, the income instruction example in this table that give you the, the level of income. And then for the school readiness, they say uh, uh, if you are in cash assistant, you are automatically eligible. Uh, uh, they're talking about also foster care. Uh, but mainly, most people, you know, if, if you are low income family, and then you are working at least 24 hours per week so if you are low income you're not working at all so your income is is like less than 24 hours you're not working at all that's a problem unless you are self-employed you will need to provide you know um, information of your self-employment but you can be attending school also if you are low income you are attending school for at least 24 hours you are eligible for the school business. basically how it's going to work you're just going to look for a provider that's a daycare that is next to you and the government gonna pay you know most of you know most of the fee 
even sometimes they might ask you like five dollars a week ten dollars a week is depend off but basically this the state uh, gonna pay for the for for the uh, for the provider that you're gonna choose I'm gonna show you how to find your provider but keep in mind I'm talking about the early learning program from birth to 12 there is the income like I told you you can apply online through the family portal okay uh, uh, right now I'm www ELC Manatee so like I told you there is different county you will choose your county let's click on the pack what you will need to apply for the school readiness okay school readiness packet let me show you what you will need okay basically is what you will need they will need identity of parent that's you know you are the parent your identifications both parent can be your driver licenses or student ID if you don't have driver license social security or school record pay top at least you know two of the following but I know most people you have your driver license they just need your identity um, uh, right now I'm in Manatee there is, most of the county they are the same okay uh, also they want to be sure let's say if you are in Manatee Manatee County proof that you the, your residency is in the county so your driver license is gonna show your residence that's a proof and then uh, a sign and date lease agreement you know utility bill or they need your your uh, P utility bill for six weeks you know pay top of the last six weeks so they need you know your pay top if you're working you you just need your last the last the the the, the most recent six week pay top pay pay stop that, that's why they need and uh, date of birth so birth certificate of your child immunization you know life insurance uh, of your child passport so that's to identify the child citizenship of the child so your child can be uh, let's be a US citizen or a lawful permanent resident uh, so that's that that's this document basically uh, prove you know the status of your child okay and then the purpose you should be employed or a full or uh or a student okay so if you are not working they need six weeks like i told you six weeks of current consecutive pay stop from or uh, employment verification if you are self-employed you they will need you know i know some people you will need your most current tax return with the schedule C and then verifiable document that show your business income uh, uh, you know, we know other kind of specific purpose like if you if you are disabled uh, so they, there is some other base you know when you are applying that's the reason you are applying it can be this you know uh, so that's that that the basically the application you can fill it out this space uh, normally is not for you this is for the parent this is for the for the for the child or children you might apply for a different for, uh, and then basically you're gonna put your initial here your initial and sign it with so that's that's if you want to apply with with the form fill out and mail it to them but like I told you I would rather it will be better if you apply online you can go to the family portal so let me, that's for Manatee, but all the county they have this possibility. You go to the Manatee portal, you sign in, and you go to school readiness, uh, and then you will upload, you will fill out all the information and upload all necessary documents. But one more thing I need you to remember. First of all, before even thinking about apply, you need to know where you want your child to be. That's not the responsibility of the of the early learning coalition that's your responsibility to choose you know it's like you're gonna choose which school okay and there is an uh, uh, there is a, a, a space where you can find out you know all the provider that is need. generally people are gonna choose daycare that is next to them or it doesn't maybe there is some criteria that you will like you will need it's really up to you but let me tell you where to go to look for you know all the provider that is next to you let me show you 
So if you are looking for a provider, daycare for your child, so you go to this address, it's cares that my FL, my that's been FL for Florida, my FL families.com public search. So understand this is basically for Florida, but uh, I think other state they have this kind of folk program that help parents that are working or go to school that don't have enough income, uh, they care for the child. So this is specifically for Florida. So on because it's care my FL, my FL families .com. So you just enter your zip code. Let me enter just an example of zip code. 34203. Okay, I entered the zip code. Okay, so 34203 in zip code. So let's see. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna find out. Okay, so here, where it is. So we got here. I entered the zip code and I got all those providers. As you can see, example this one, you got the provider, you got the address, the phone number, and you got all the service. That's really interesting. That gives you an idea how many service these example, these provider education time, child care facility. It's according to the zip code, it's just 046 mile. But that told you, you we got the VPK. This is VPK and this is the school readiness. Remember, the school readiness doesn't matter the age, but VPK, your child needs to be four years old. And that gives you all the service that this, this provider, example, we got here after school, we got here before school, and they have food server, they have food, and then they have full day, they have uh, like half day, they even take your infant, and they have transportation, okay? So that gives you all the service. And the same thing here, but example for this one, which means they don't have food in this facility. Okay, this provider don't have don't provide food. Okay, and you got this is community community school. They don't have uh, they don't have transportation. Okay, don't so if you check in a provider, check the service. Example, let's say you need transportation and you shoot this one, and they told you they don't have transportation. Okay. So you need to check it out. So example, you can, if you go there, you can check. You see, a, there is more detail. Let me show you. So this give you can make your selections according to some detail, like public school, religious school, a goal seal. That's that's going to be equity. Let me check goal goal skill. That will be good. Let's say go skill. I got two go skill here. There it is. So go skill. That's 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 tell you it's really standard, you know. So that's an example. They have all the service and it's go skill. So I show this one. So I think uh, that's all, guy. I just want to help you. If you parent, I'm pretty sure you you're looking mainly. The, this is for if you have a low income. Which means uh, your income it's really a consideration. If your income is not that low, you, the government, the state will not be able to help you in your, you know, for the K. You're gonna have to pay by yourself. Okay, so uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm doing step by step video on how to find different form. You know, so subscribe and then uh, see you for my next video. Take care.